Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking another look at whether Klonoa 2 Lunatia's Veil vale is playable with BTSX2 within RetroArch. Now, this is another one of those games that I know the answer to. And uh, also, my first verdict was incredibly wrong, because I didn't realise a certain thing. Yeah, once I got to the cliff at the end of that video, I said the game was playable, but I failed to realise that you couldn't actually get on top of that cliff. So, yeah. Not great. Ah, oh, there is... There is music! I'm pretty sure beforehand there was no music on the title screen. It was very weird. Or at least, in the intro. I did press start, didn't I? Oh, there we go. Just do a new game, please. And yet again, this is on the Delta Preview OS update. Can I just do it over that? Yeah, that'll do. Ah! Yeah, the, it's the Delta Preview update, which is what's allowed this to work, because it's the stock, uh, standard. PCSX2 core, it's not the no-fix one. Which I believe is uh, unique, or exclusive to Xbox. It's only the Xbox system that has the no-fix car, because the PC uh, PCSX2 car standard would usually crash the uh, PlayStation, the PlayStation 2 boot logo. So the no-fix car was introduced to kind of bypass that. Present Klonoa 2! The one thing I actually noticed, because I went back and watched the initial video, and um, I didn't realise that when I get to the part with the cliff that you normally can't get past, essentially the stuff that needed to spawn in but didn't were actually had spawned in in the doorway, back into the cave. It was one of those really weird things. I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Hooray! Nice. And this is, it still has the issue with the... the dead zone. I need to mess around with the dead zone settings just to see. Yeah, just mess around with them, see what I can do. See if there's a way of making it so that every game works. It's just, it's weird because it just doesn't register as a full push. Actually, hang on. Oh, it does. Never mind. But in order for it to register, you only you can only push the left stick a fraction of the way. If you push it all the way across, it doesn't work. Like if you push it all the way across, it gives you. I mean, it seems to be working a lot better than it was yesterday. I'm trying to. There we go. Where he does the stutter step, <laughs> essentially. Oh crap! Yeah, I'm using the left stick. I'll just stick to the d-pad. There we go. Yeah, I believe it was in here. Yeah, here we go. Because none of these things actually spawned in uh, with the initial test. Now it all makes sense as to why. Oh yeah, that one's a giant. I remember. Oh, come on. Yeah! I kind of want to go to the back. But, ah, uh, we don't need to. There we go. But you'll notice that there's also sound effects and everything as well. Should have probably said that sooner, but never mind. Completely forgot. Yeah, it was here. Because I walked along, noticed that there was nothing here, like, these didn't exist. And then when I went back into the cave, they appeared in the doorway. Because I think I ended up attacking one of them and getting stuck in the ground as a result. So yeah, there we go. Well, I did give the incorrect verdict to begin with, because I said the game was playable when it most certainly was not. I mean, I should have said it wasn't playable, considering I said Fatal Frame wasn't playable. Because, But Fatal Frame wasn't playable because you couldn't see the ghosts. So, it wasn't playable because you couldn't progress. Similar situation to this, honestly. Oh no, I should have done that later. Oh, oh god. There we go. I don't know why I'm going for everything. Oh, I want, I want it. I want everything. They are some weird looking... Whatever the hell they are. I wanted to call them sharks, but I don't think they are. I think I'll just beat the level. We're not that far away, to be honest. Wee. 
Oh. Ah. Got a controller, this is weird. Yeah. No, it actually does work if you try and use the left stick. I don't understand this. Why can I still shoot? Also, have you noticed where it comes out from? <laughs> it does not come out from the ring. It comes out from, like, his side. I'm not going to say there's, like, a secondary egg here. I remember. I mean, I did play this yesterday, so of course. Ooh, health. I don't really know what that actually does. I think it just gives you a full, full heal. Yeah, I think I definitely want to mess around with the dead zone stuff. I just want to figure out what the cause is. At least I'm... I keep saying it's the dead zone, but I never- I don't really know that. I'm just assuming that it is. I need to do more testing to really figure out whether it is or not. Because I think the weirdest thing about it is the fact it doesn't affect every game, it only affects some of them. It's really weird. So it just picks and chooses what it wants is- it, what it wants to screw over. Ooh, yeah, give me that. Ah! There we go. Yeah! I almost got all of them. Almost. Oh, wait, I need you. And we're done, I think. Oh, not quite. Yeah, we've still got to go down here. Me. I don't know if you're meant to be able to move faster, but... I mean, you can run down here. Oh, there we go, we did it. Nice. And there we go. Vision clear. And there it is. So Klonoa 2 Lunar Tears Veil vale is actually playable now. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.